How's it going, folks? Gallery, and welcome to a probably very quick and impromptu flesh and blood video. Today, I got my I'm gonna hide the details. I got this package from uh, Legendary Studios. This has my preview card, Nasrep, the Soul Harrower, and uh, we're gonna open this up. Check it out. Look at what the cold foil looks like. I think they sent me the cold foil Marvel version. That's sweet. And whatever else comes in this, I don't actually know. Uh, I know there's like a play mat and some other stuff, but uh, it's going to be a pretty short and simple one. Just kind of checking this out. And um, yeah, if you haven't seen it already, go check out my spoiler video on it. I spent a lot of time on it. And I think it turned out really well. If you like rock music, if you like metal, just just go check it out. Uh, a band called Ivory Desk. Let me use their music for it. It's rad. Just just go go watch it anyway. Let's check, let's, let's check this out. And also this gives me a chance to show off our latest flesh and blood mat with art from a flesh and blood artist. This is the signature version of the mat. It is limited and will be available next Monday or so on my store, redzonerogue.com. And as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, this is our original character, Kotoko in Mysteria. We have her dragon familiar, has a cracked bobble, Mysteria stuff, just overall beautiful. Anyway, so here we have the package. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, it's Red Zone Rogue. It's me. That's me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open this up and uh, see what is inside. I am expecting a play mat as well as a. Um, why is this so difficult? Is there a pull tab? Am I just being dumb? Whatever. I'm just going to brute force it. Speaking of which, I think there is a brute card. I've seen a lot of people talk about this, and I've gotten word from LSS that some people who got spoilers got a brute cold foil card. So here is the bunched up. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Hold. Wait. There's more than one playmat? Wait a minute. Hold on. I didn't know there was two playmats. All right. I only know I only have the one playmat. So this is oh dude, they give me the playmat for this too. Okay. Okay, that's that is awesome. I didn't I did not know this. I did not know this. So this is the playmat for Oblivion, one of the two cards that I spoiled. Once again, if you haven't seen the video, go please watch the video. Um we spent, I spent a lot of time on it. And I, I think it turned out really well. I think it's one of the best videos I've ever made, so definitely go check it out. And then we have this is the one that I was expecting, because this is the one that everyone else got. Um, Nazareth, the Soul Harrower. Oh, dude, this is awesome. I want to give a huge shout out to um, Iswardi Therianto, who's the artist who did both uh, Oblivion and uh, Nazareth here. And he's just a, just a great dude, great artist. And as you can see, it is awesome. Okay, so here we have a bunch of cards. Oh, okay, we're just going to get into this. I'm not going to belabor this too much because let's see here we go um you already know kind of what to expect here i'm expecting three cards here now so we have the nazareth the soul harrower i'm really interested to see if this has just has a flesh and blood back this should be oblivion yep here we have the rainbow foil oblivion you know let's take these out of these to get a better look at the foiling on them. And then this one is that cold foil that I was talking about. This is a diabolic offering and apparently not everyone who did a spoiler video got one of these. Uh, they had a very, very limited quantity. So these are actually very rare, very rare, very hard to get. Um, apparently only people who did spoiler videos or spoilers, um, but also produce regular flesh and blood content got one of these. So, yeah, that's really cool. Um, yeah, so, very rare card. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with this. We'll see. These two are going up in the background display because they are integral pieces to Red Zone Rogue history. Holy crap, the foil actually looks really good. Look at that. That's really, really sick. What's really cool about these two cards in particular is that uh, since Oblivion is a legendary mechanic, I only ever need one. Uh, but this one in particular, gonna go up in the background display like all of this stuff usually does. And here we have Nazareth. So here's the thing. I imagine the back of this is just a regular flesh and blood back, but I was very curious to... It is, it is, okay. 
I was wondering if they're going to do like a full art treatment for the back because it's just a token, right? It doesn't need to have a flesh and blood back. So anyway, let's check this out. I love how they do the cold foiling here. Oh, you can kind of see it there when, when it's really dark. They do the cold foiling on a, like spot foiling, essentially. This looks really nice. I'm going to be very curious to see how rare the marbles are in Dust Till Dawn because it, it's varied. Well, let's be honest. Like, we had um, the dragons in Uprising, and they were, like, fairly common, actually. And then we had the stuff in Dynasty, which was quite rare. And then we had the stuff in Outsiders, which was exceedingly rare. Um, but that's just because there were only three. And now we have a whole bunch of angels and Nazareth and Leviah. Really cool. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just marveling at this now. <laughs> marveling at the marvel. Oh, that's basically the video. I just wanted to kind of show this off. Definitely did not know that I was getting a second play mat, so that's really cool. Um, these two cards, here's the, here's the other funny thing. These two cards, I will definitely play because I'm definitely building a Vincent deck. I really want to slam down this Nazareth. But I want these to live in my background display, so I'm going to try to pull my own. <laughs> I'm going to try to pull my own from some boxes, so uh, stay tuned for that. Going to have a lot of uh, Dust Hold On content coming up in the future. And once again, let's show off this uh, Oblivion mat. This one, I mean, Nazareth is my favorite. She looks awesome. Like, doesn't she look like something from Planescape, right? Like the Lady of Pain or something? She looks metal as hell. This is so cool. And then here we have... Uh, Vincent summoning Nazareth. This is Nazareth here. You can kind of see the the weird obelisk things that are attached to her, and then the exactly six rune chance, which I think is uh, I think is really cool. But uh, yeah, that's just gonna do. That's gonna be that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, short and sweet. Checking out some cards. Um, I'm really excited for Dusk Till Dawn. I'm going to be doing some sponsored box openings that I will have posted information about in the last day or so. So if those aren't sold out and you want in on some sponsored box openings, $100 shipped US per box. I'm going to be opening up on the channel. Uh, they're going to be recorded videos, so they're much more polished. But you will, you will know that the boxes are good because they're going to be from sealed cases that I will open in the video. Each uh, video will have four sponsored boxes open up the case and then do the thing so anyway let me know if you're interested in that and um dude this looks really good and uh we'll see you next time <laughs>